Okay, guys, I'm Wavy. Excellent. And just in time to see, wow, look at look at this. I come in to see Venia and Professor MGW, purported kings of doubles. Just being like systematically removed by Red Team over here. Venia with the quick up recovery has no choice. You don't want to recover low against a nest that's waiting for you down there. That's right, zero to none knows he can coast by with neutral bees in a lot of situations because PK Chris will be there to help him out if he gets punished. And he's doing a good job, though. His 2v1 skills are not to be underestimated. Nice power shield. Wow. <laughs> Look at Venia's evasion. There he goes. This is the up air. Oh my god. Venia is doing a great job of avoiding this pressure. Uh, let's see what he does. Nothing. Okay. It's not very effective. Greninja fainted. Wow, okay, I want to see some of the gameplay that led up to a situation like that. So hopefully we sally forth to game two quickly. Devin, you were watching. What do you think? I wasn't watching. Wow, Devin. <laughs> excellent, uh, excellent casting. Oh, I got to say, these new overlays do look hot. Getting right back into game two, Pokemon Stadium 2 again. Everyone's favorite stage. Man, when, before Ultimate came out, and I was telling people who did not play PM, just, oh my god, PS2 is going to be the best stage ever. People are like, you're crazy. I'm like, here we are now. Well, let's see how this goes. Doing a great job. Just with this overall disruption, Ness and Zelda are characters that specialize in that. I can imagine interrupting the double Greninja over here, even for a split second, could be really helpful. Look at this. Zero to none, picking up two fast kills. Just like that. It's going to be hard for Venny to get like a, a quick janky, a quick gimp or a quick janky kill against Zelda because of her very large and straightforward recovery. As long as uh, Zero to None is patient, he shouldn't be getting gimped by uh, Greninja's. There we go. Wow, and Venia runs up and throws out a substitute with no contact. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I respect what they're doing. Venia and Professor MGW, they're doing a really good job of both just being extremely mobile and trying to get into uh, 1v1s and 2v... 1v1s, 2v1s, and uh, 2v2s when it suits them. Because that's honestly what the mobility is good for. If they want to do double 1v1, they can. If they want to do a 2v1 and leave the other guy in the dust, they can do that. If they just want to get it all going into a scramble situation, they can do that too. So they will be overall be dictating the pace of the match. But Zelda and Ness's ability to just be so disruptive to the opponent might be able to mess them up long enough and... Oh, baby! I don't know what sent Venia so low. Maybe it was a hit of PK Thunder. Anyway, Ness and, uh, Ness and Zelda are so disruptive as characters, just naturally, that they can kind of, you know, mess with their spacings. Any plus. And there goes Ven and there goes uh, MGW again. <laughs> and evidently, they don't have their uh, <laughs> they don't have their team combos on deck yet. Gets the nair, no kill yet. Oh, taunting! Correctly, ledge attacks. And Zelda's up throw kills. I did not know that. Zelda kills so early. <laughs> I didn't even know that that throw could kill. She usually kills you 100% before that would kill. Oh, 
Okay. Zero to none. And PK Chris, they're on set point. It's going to take some hard work for Venia and MGW to uh, bring it back. They're going to town and city. Arguably a good choice. It's a wider open expanse for the for the frogs to run around. We'll have to see how this goes. It's not too bad of a choice because Zelda and Ness aren't strictly uh, campy characters. Like they have projectiles, but they're both not really campers. Like Ness can't camp with PK Fire and Zelda. Yeah, Zelda can't really just be throwing phantoms all day every day. Especially with characters like this moving around so fast, threatening you from any point on the stage. They are so fast they can just threaten you. And it seems to be working out a little bit. They have a small percentage lead right now. We'll have to see if they can keep it. And I was giving my praises to PK Chris's uh, spatial awareness. I have to say the same for uh, Venia's. And also MGW's. PK Chris went in for uh, to try to protect Zelda, but MGW was no one's fool. That's a silly technique. That's it, does. Zero to none. Excellent shield. I wonder if he knew uh, PK Chris was coming up with an attack. See, let's see. An excellent back throw from uh, PK Chris. And there they go. Many of MGW also messing up their uh, team throw combos. But they were a lot closer, so I can't fault them too much. I will say, though, the way this team plays. I feel like it is a good, like, natural counter to how Venia likes to play. Because Venia either likes to play serious rushdown or a really strict, wow, a really strict bait and punish style. But the thing is, the way this team is put together, all about intrusion and disruption, it's like if Venia gets the bait correctly, there's the other character right in the way, and there goes Venia's stock, just like that. When you get one, the other one just seems to be there just to be annoying and get them out of the bad situation. At the very least, it puts a damper on Venia's uh, patented uh, Greninja combos. Did he just... Oh my god. No, they're actually just taking socks like that. That's, uh, that's wild. Let's have it. They're both off stage. They might have a shot. All right. I wonder if this is going to be really... Ooh, almost gets the back air. I respect it. It's really going to depend on if MDW or Zero to None dies first. Let's see. I respect holding that out. And no contact. Here comes Venia. He knows. He knows what the goal is. You have to get that kill on. There it is. And now... And now the goal is kill PK Chris. Or 2v1 the hell out of... Okay. And no, the Phantom's going to take that stock. It's up to Venia. I can't see any situations where he can uh, safely kill PK Chris without Zero to None just mauling him. But Venia is very uh, resourceful. He might be able to find it. Down throw? Still missing it. They're doing a good job. Venia's DI is on point. Yeah, Venia knows he can't like go for an up smash combo because there will be Zelda to kick him. And now, now Venny has to watch out. He can't use the shield anymore. Not that he did, but that was his chance. That's his chance. Oh, Venny is keeping hope alive here. Wow, I can't believe it. But now it's hard because now Zelda can get the kill with the grub. All right. This really depends on how much uh, Zero Nun can keep his composure. We've seen time and again that Venya knows how to clutch out games, but can Zero to None clutch him out? 
Oh my god, that that actually was it. Yeah, Zero Nun might be looking for... He might be grab fishing now. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. Oh! Oh! Ah! Uh, oh! There's the forward air. He's moving. No up air attempt. No beefy up attempt. Kick? No. He's not going to risk it anymore. And there it is. Gets the... Okay. I was like... Did that not kill? An excellent showing from Zero Nun, PK Chris. But Venia and MGW, especially Venia, was doing such a great job of keeping things lively. Woof. Very handsome play. Oh, it's me. <laughs>